Hey, Harvest Time, Pastor Mel here. Excited to share this next version of Jesus in real life. Tonight, we're going to be looking at the command to obey your leaders. Uh, it might be a little self-serving to talk about this, since I am one of the elders at the church, but I assure you that uh, each one of us has someone in our life that we are called to submit to. Frankly, we all serve under the headship of Jesus Christ, and he is, frankly, the sum total of that which we submit to on a local church level and uh, denominational level and all those things. He is the be-all and end-all. Uh, and yet, uh, with our understanding of the New Testament church pattern, our constitution here at Harvest Time and many other churches includes an elder board. And so we'll be talking tonight about elders and how they're chosen, how they're prepared by God, how they're called by God. And uh, maybe that's a calling that you are feeling as you continue to grow into your life as a follower of Jesus, a disciple, and uh, want to let you know how to do that and how to take that next step in preparing yourself for the high calling, as Paul talks to it. We're going to be reading about Paul and Silas, how they went around and ordained, um, put people into positions in the church, and how their heart was to see those those men do well in their calling and their gifting. Paul and Barnabas, Paul and Silas, Paul and Timothy. You see the pattern of men coming together to uh, pick those that God has put on their heart through a time of prayer or fasting. And so that is uh, what we'll be studying tonight. Getting close to wrapping up with the first iteration of Jesus in real life. we got probably one or two more weeks, depending on where you're at in the study, as we learn tonight about obeying our elders or obeying our, our leaders, I should say. And then finally, we'll close it off with um, how to gather and the, obey, uh, the uh, command to gather. So, let me pray for us and uh, that uh, God will be with us and then we'll have a great time together as we study tonight. Father, we just thank you so much for the privilege of coming together. We thank you for God's people. We thank you for these friends who have become in many ways more of a family than a friend as we've studied together these, these last weeks. And Lord, as we draw close to the end of this, Lord, we pray that we would end well, that we would be focused that we would take seriously the command to obey our elders, those who lead us, um, that we would take seriously the command to obey the leaders of the congregation and, and your larger body here on earth. Father, we just pray that this time would be a special time as we prepare our hearts. And all God's people said, amen. Have a great study tonight.